Hi, I'm Taz Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainer here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a multi-peptide serum. Now let me show you how to put it together. Okay, so firstly I have my water phase here and to this I'm gonna be adding some Hydrolyte 5 Green. So that's what's in these two pipettes here. Now this is a humectant. So this is gonna help keep the skin nice and conditioned, moisturized and hydrated. It's also gonna protect the skin from transepidermal water loss. Okay, now my first active I'm gonna be adding into my peptide serum here is the uh, Spec Bio Ectween. So this is by Spec Chem. Now this is a pretty cool active because it's got some moisturizing uh, in vivo data. It's also got some really good anti-aging, anti-allergy, anti-inflammatory. It's got some brightening, repairing, and also it's gonna help plump the skin as well, which is what I'm looking for in my serum. So I'm just going to stir that to dissolve it. It needs to be added to the water phase. Um, and then once it's dissolved, then we can move on to our next step. Now, to build my serum, I'm going to be using some Sepi Max Zen here. I love this material. It creates really nice, stable products and it is quite clear as well. and it does create quite clear gels or serums as well. Now, this isn't gonna hydrate straight away. It does take some time, so I've just added to my water phase, and I'm just gonna give it a gentle stir using low shear, just to wet the polymer and disperse it. And then we're going to uh, cover it and come back to it once it's hydrated. Okay, so now that my Sephi Max Zen is hydrated, you can see it's created a nice, viscous serum there not too runny and not too thick so next i'm just adding just a little bit of lipid this is just going to help give it a nice emollient feeling and just help it spread a little bit on the skin i'm just using the sejo soft pfo by basf this is just a very small input of a plant oil And now for my last phase. So I have a few actives I am gonna be using here. So my first one here is Alan Toyne by Ashland. So this is a nice anti-irritant and soothing material, which is really good to add when you're using highly active ingredients in your formula. So now for my star ingredients here, and that's my peptides. So my first one I am gonna be using here is the Spec Ped GHK2. CU by uh, Spec Chem. So this is a copper peptide, hence the beautiful blue color. Now I'm using the solution today, but of course you can get it in the more concentrated version, which is the powder. Now I'm just bringing some efficacy data up onto the screen here of the copper peptide. Now this peptide is really good for repairing damaged skin. It also helps with wrinkles and smoothing the skin as well. Um, it's really good for promoting collagen. Uh, it's got anti-inflammatory benefits as well. So it's just a little bit of data there on the screen for you. And I honestly just love this blue color. The solution doesn't give much of the blue color in the serum, but the powder does. So if you're looking for a really nice electric blue, I would go for the powder because that gives it a really nice vibrant blue. Now my second peptide is the SpecPed AH8P. This is also by SpecChem. This is the acetyl hexapeptide 8. So this is a really good peptide. It's actually quite uh, known in our cosmetic industry for its really good efficacy data. This is a very concentrated powder form. Comes in a little vial. And I'm just gonna add that in. It's like a really good Botox alternative. It's got really good Botox like wrinkle removing effect, um, but it's a lot, obviously it's a lot safer and you don't have to have injections for that. It's good at blocking muscle contraction um, and relaxing muscle tension. It's got really good bioavailability, excellent skin compatibility. It smooths uh, fine lines. It promotes expression of ECM related genes. It also promotes collagen. And I'm just gonna show you some of the efficacy data here that I have. 
Um, so you can see here in this graph, so this is um, efficacy of comparison to a, another benchmark sample. So spec ped here is in the blue and you can already see how much the wrinkle volume has reduced in just 14 days. And then obviously in 28 days, it's even more, it's 21.37%. And then we've obviously got our 56 days, which is massive. So that's got a big reduction of 34.28%. So really good actors here to use in our multi-peptide serum. And then I'm just going to be adding my preservative and you can of course also add in a glycerin base extract in here of your choice. My antioxidant, just a little bit. Now tocopherol is good to use for obviously oxidation purposes to do with your formula, but also it has some really good skin benefits. And then I'm also going to add just a little bit of essential oil as well. You can of course use a fragrance as well of your choice. See it's come together really nicely. It does have a little bit of a cloudy blue color, which you can sort of see on camera here. But as I said before, if you want more of that vibrant electric blue, you can use the concentrated powder and that will give it more of a color. Now lastly, I'm just gonna check and adjust the final pH. And then as always, we're just gonna cover and leave that overnight just to assess it the next day. Okay, and here is what my serum is looking like the next day. As you can see here, it's nice and stable, not too thick, not too low viscosity, it's perfect. It's a little bit cloudy, but that's because of what we've used in the serum, which is okay and it literally just melts to water as soon as it's applied to the skin. It's also non-tacky, spreads really nice, a little bit goes a long way. And it's got a really nice pleasant after feel. So this serum is perfect for an anti-aging product. It's also got some really good skin repair benefits as well. So we've got two different peptides here that are focusing and targeting different types of anti-aging and also different types of skin repairing or collagen production. Well, there you go. That's how easy it is to make a multi-peptide serum for anti-aging and skin repair. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, leave any questions down below, and don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on the rest of our videos. Happy formulating.